I did want to add a couple of things to my list of annoyances. Oh my uh, God, okay. what? <laughs> the list of things that don't annoy you. We don't have. Oh, who good, are you? We don't have enough paper. To be fair, Greg, uh, yeah, who every, is she to throw s- stones at me? But every my, smell, every taste. Right, but that list doesn't increase. Yes, it does. It's just cemented. Okay. No, that's not uh, true at all. I have not brought a new annoyance to the table. Because you don't talk a about long them. Time. Gravy's list is laminated. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I have a laminated annoyance list. But she doesn't talk about See, I make notes if, that I can bring it up. Okay. If I had a new one, I would bring it to the table. You know why? Because it's relatable, see? Yeah, exactly. And there's people that go, yeah, me well, What too. annoys you now? Uh, okay, so there's a new restaurant. My uh, my stepmom and dad, they're here, and my stepmother loves Mexican food. There's a new Mexican place right by my house. Okay, right, and um, I I've heard different. I've heard it's really good, but when I said, "Is it like your standard, you know, like uh, Mexican dishes, like me- like the regular yeah, menu, enchiladas stuff, and tacos yeah. Yeah. and burritos and stuff like that, or?" Yeah. Is it more like an elevated, you know, because it looks yeah, the fancy on the outside. Yeah. It looks kind of like one of those like fancier okay. places. You know what I mean? And I I'm, I'm want to go there because it's also like a it's, they call it a tequila bar. So it's a Mexican restaurant slash uh, tequila bar. I'm like, rip. Okay. Yeah. OK, so it leads me to believe it might be a little hipster. Right. So I just want to see what the menu is because I know like she just wants like the regular stuff, mm-hmm. okay. you know. And so I went on their website. To look at their menu, and I've seen this a number of times, and it always pisses me off. Their website has the menu as a PDF that you have to download. Uh, okay. Just have the menu Just, up there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, they make it too hard. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're looking for the menu. And it's like download the PDF of our menu. Why? Just <laughs> you have a website. Just right. put it up on the website. Yeah. All right, so that's number one. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I agree. All right. Okay. okay. I totally agree. Also, Sometimes restaurants finding that, the menu is the hardest thing to find. Also, I mean, and by the way, it's more of a hipster. Uh, type uh, Mexican menu. Establishment. Yeah. 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 Of course. Yeah. Um, uh, and then the other the um, the other one I'll add to that, Greg, uh-huh. just because I know you agree. And if you're still doing QR code menus this far Ooh. after COVID. Stop it. Stop it. Just have like a regular menu. So many places still do it, too. Yeah. And it takes so much longer to go through it because like you're zooming in, zooming out, moving over, zooming back in, zooming out. Like, it's awful. Yeah. Sucks. I hated those from day one, though. Yeah. I understood yeah, it. Greg was on board with the hate. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, like, I understood early. it when it first started, but then, you know. Enough. Well, remember how we all got COVID from touching menus? Oh, right. <laughs> right. Oh, so dumb. I was willing to put up with it just to be able to eat inside of a restaurant. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know exactly. I, mean? I never loved yeah. it. Yeah. But I get it. It's probably right. a good way to cut expenses, though. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then number two, you know, I've already got people with their pronouns listed on their social media and their email profiles on my list. Mm-hmm. But now I'd like to add people who have all opinions are my own on their social media profiles. Oh, yeah? That's oh, a new thing? No, yeah. that's not a new that's thing. It's not a new thing. thing. It just, I realized that. Um, I, I've just noticed it more, I guess. Okay. I don't know. I it's, know it's been around for a while. Yeah, it's just people that work for companies. They always put that in the No, profile. no, no. That's the thing. These people, like, get over yourself. Unless your job title CEO or mm. communications or PR director for a company, it's obvious and unnecessary. <laughs> That's what I would think. 99% like, of the people. Because I've be? noticed that yeah. 90, and these are some people that I know. 99.9% of the people that have this are people who have a job that's the equivalent of like flipping burgers or working in a cube. You're punching numbers in the spreadsheets. Yeah. Nobody is confusing your take on social as McDonald's official position on a topic. Right. Nobody. <laughs> and if I'm looking at it, I'm, I'm assuming it's your opinion. You have 30 followers. Yeah. Nobody's confusing it with the official position for anything other than your opinion. Right. Really? Yeah. You think that, but people have been fired for less. Right. Yeah, and then, I mean that doesn't. But not per- because not because the company's like, oh well, uh, you know, this person who's You've the, been on, representing the, on, on the janitorial staff. Yeah, but I, is that confusing even... the public with our opinion with their opinion. Yeah, the janitor doesn't have that on his social. Oh, media Oh, you'd profile. be surprised. That's like a super basic bitch thing. Oh, honest. dude, maybe you're just not noticing. Like I said, I know it's been around for a while. I just noticed. Yeah. It doesn't protect them though. Right, no, right, right, right. <laughs> and that's yeah, that's the other thing. Oh, That's the okay. other thing. I see what you mean. You know, it's not going to go, well, you know, I did have on my profile that said uh, my opinions are not that of my company that I work for. Oh, they're going to go, oh, well, never mind. Well, but yeah. <laughs> it's in writing. <laughs> yeah. Now I'm kind of like siding with Ravy. I don't know if I have new annoyances lately. So I'm thinking well, no, about I mean, Greg has Just plenty. I'm still I have, annoyed by the same stuff. Right. Like I saw yeah. plenty of annoyances <laughs> for sure. Yeah. But 
I don't know if there have any new ones lately. I did have a question for you guys, though. I told you one of my annoyances is that my neighbors take their garbage out yeah. days yeah, yeah, yeah. early out yeah. and then leave them out days after garbage day. And so the cans are out four out of the seven days. Yeah, it's yeah. mega unsightly. Yeah. So the other day, I saw my neighbor on when I was walking the dog, and they were both on a walk as well. And I noticed they looked very angry at me. Maybe they, because <laughs> I know that I give them the stink eye when they get home on garbage day, the cans have been emptied, and then they just walk into their house. They're offenders. I'm like, come oh, on. No. Yeah. I'm like, if you're going to do it, at least be cool. You know? Yeah. They didn't even say hi to me on the walk, and I thought, wow. well, because I'm the, oh, the, wow. the garbage yeah. cop. <laughs> no. oh, I'm going to be using that uh, bin washing thing today. Oh, you nice. know, there's a lot oh, of companies where they'll come too. wash your bins. Oh, yeah. yeah, mine are my... covered in cobwebs and <laughs> yeah, they're so gross. <laughs> I don't even want to touch them. Oh, they stink so bad from all the dogish. Mm, okay, now, here's uh, here's some fallout from people uh, on social. One would be Elon Musk. Have you seen some of the stories about this? Yeah, I did. There was a lot of advertisers that pulled. Yes, a ton. So Disney and ESPN went dark. Um, some other uh, companies as well, Apple, have uh, stopped advertising. On Twitter? On, yeah. Um, so this is in response to Elon posting, you have said the actual truth in response to another post claiming that Jews push hatred against white people. And so that caused all kinds of you know backlash about the anti-Semitic behavior from Elon Musk. And so now uh, Tesla investors are calling for his suspension. Oh, is the Tesla stock taking a dump? Um, the first American Trust CEO says there's no excuse for spreading the hatred by any CEO of any publicly traded company and that the Tesla's board should place him on leave for a month or two. Stop it's always it's okay to me. Well, yeah. I mean, well, it's Elon. It's not the first time yeah, he said Elon. stuff like that. Now, when Elon says something, I could see where that would, like, you know, he may post, not that it'll change anything. Now, if he has something on there, like, oh, my opinion is, like, that's the kind of person I understand. Like, all right, fine. Has to have that. You know? uh -huh. Right. <laughs> you get not that in the point that Menace made, not that it changes anything. Even if he had that, you know, Disney and Apple and everybody else would still be, uh, you know, I'm sure pooling advertising. But right. But again, going just... back to what Greg says all the time, like, you know, you don't have to. Right, right. Share you, every thought. Share every thought. Even if you think that, believe that. Why yeah. are you posting that? Probably because he's got billions of dollars. He probably doesn't even care. But why? But why? Uh, why you, put it out in the world why, to begin with? Yeah. Why ruffle feathers when you know it's going to be controversial? Probably because he doesn't care. That's what I'm saying. Like he doesn't even think about that. I don't even think he thinks like, oh, well, this could happen. Like you know, I don't. I think when you're that rich, sometimes or you know that he's so weird anyway. But yeah. I think when you're weird <laughs> and rich like that, yeah, it probably doesn't even cross your mind. Weird and rich shouldn't be an excuse for hatred, like well, that. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, like I don't know why you know. You know, people. Oh, I don't. I don't know why people would do that. Mm -hmm. I don't know what were they thinking. Well, they weren't. True. Well, you know, half the time, like you hear the, these criminals but or whatever. See, I don't yeah. believe that in the case of Elon Musk. I think everything he does is calculated. Yeah. Well, they also said um, the there's this uh, these tech guys that I follow. I haven't read his book or listened to his book, but they said that Elon Musk is definitely self destructive. Mm. Where he needs to be in chaos, that's where he mm. feels he comfortable. Thrives. Yeah. Yeah. He thrives in it because that's weird. Anytime that he's like doing really well, yeah, he always he has does to blow it up something some way. stupid because you want to be. I've, yeah, okay. So yeah. I've, I've the psychological part of that I've, yeah. I've heard before. Like I've known people who are like that. This this one per not a friend. This is just a person like a former coworker. Uh. This guy would get fired every. I don't know, six months, he'd have like a new job. And I'm like, man, what's going on with this guy? And of course, because he got fired so many places. At one point, I worked with him. And uh, somebody said that he actually ended up going to therapy. And it was he was told because this, you know, what you were saying, that mm -hmm. um, whenever things are, are good, and I understand this part, when things are good, you're waiting for the shoe to drop. Mm -hmm. And he wants to be in control of when the shoe drops. Mm. So things go well. The new job's going pretty well. He's like, oh, and he pulls basically the ripcord, and he does something to sabotage or to test to see if it will sabotage. Because he figures it will anyway? Yes. And see, so he doesn't want to be caught off guard, so he does something, even if he's not like completely consciously thinking like this is going to blow something up, right. he becomes like destructive or like self-destructive, like self-sabotage. Yeah. 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 yeah, you start pushing or testing limits because he needs, he needs that control. Right. He doesn't want to be caught off guard.
I'm like, really weird. I relate to that. I don't that relate is, to that either. That no, I very <laughs> weird. I don't want to relate to that. <laughs> exactly. No, I, is what I'm trying to say. You know yeah. what? Things are good. I don't I'm relate to that either. What? Yeah. I'm just gonna mess I'm it up. Because that's gonna happen myself. anyway. Yeah. yeah. That's weird. Yeah, so, what you, so what do you think, Menace, on uh, Elon Musk? Do you think he's uh, truly hateful? Ravi says he's hateful. That he's hateful? I yeah. didn't say he's hateful. I just said I think he's more calculated than you give him credit for. Well, no, that, I mean, you, you did say something uh, I, about well, that. I'm questioning that why you're putting something so hateful out yeah. into the that world. That he's like, uh, you're trying to, basically which, you're trying to say that he's constantly push, pushing an agenda. Yeah. Which I kind of can see that as well. I mean, I think he has his own ideas on how he wants things run, and then he focuses on making that happen. So you is not in the room. No. But he's also waiting on his cyber truck. That's true. <laughs> yeah. so I don't know if he's I guarantee say this anything. is the one thing you wouldn't have anything to say uh, uh, anything yeah. about Elon. Yeah. Other than he loves him. <laughs> oh, actually, Elon's a... Uh, right. <laughs> he's the best. I he's want to be genius. your best friend. Yeah. Oh, he would love to. Yeah. 877-44-WOODY. You can hit us up with a text over to 22987. Somebody said, I went to a restaurant. They had a physical menu for the, the food, but the beer menu was a QR code. Why? Just have a physical beer menu as well. <laughs> Maybe it just I changes, it changes a lot. It probably changes. It probably changes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's probably They a, have their IPA of the week. Okay, yeah, but exactly. what do you do before the QR code? You know? Uh, like, can you just print it out? Usually it's a, a piece of paper. Usually a, uh, like a chalkboard at those yeah, types Yeah, have a chalkboard, you know? Yeah. Stuff like that. That is, that is goofy. Yeah.